Hi, it's Cheryl from Cheryl Stunning Succulents. Today I am taking you to work. This yard here, the succulent garden, was installed by me three years ago, but it looks like it hasn't been uh, managed or maintained at all. So, but my project here today is to work on this uh, area here, and I'm harvesting from that um, succulent garden and I brought a few succulents and then I'm going to show you the back. I can harvest from th that area also. So here's the backyard. It's a large space. I know there's plenty of succulents here and much like our hair, we need a haircut, we need maintenance, and this garden definitely needs a lot of grooming. There's a lot of weeds. Um, spent blooms and so therefore let me see what I could do today I think I could be here the whole weekend and not be done but this area is so beautiful it just needs a little work okay so I'm harvesting safety first this is a euphorbia and then the milky sap is toxic so I don't want that on my eyeballs so there's one Here's another. I'm going to use this um, for the front yard. And at the same time, I am doing maintenance. So I harvested some of these sunburst ioniums right here and some of the cuttings here. But I want to show you that. Harvest some more. Um, I see that there's a quadricolor there that I want to get to, but I don't know if I can. And I found so many agavoides that are buried here. So we're going to continue harvesting and then we're going to plant. Okay, here's a care tip for you. Um, when you're harvesting or doing maintenance, um, look for these guys they're me mealy bugs and that is no good so I don't want to use that if anything I want to isolate it and so what you could do is just spray it this is 70% alcohol spray it with alcohol uh, maybe once or twice and then just make sure that the mealy bugs go away and then you can use a specimen later so here's a little bonus I made for my client. I love the sitting area here. We actually had lunch here. And then here are all the succulents I planted from three years ago. I barely scratched the surface. And I'm gonna show you what I did in the very front yard. This is actually a surprise for my client. It's actually his girlfriend that hired me. And since he's gotten sick, he hasn't had much time to do gardening. So he had a lot of treasures like this rock. And then he had bags and bags of bark or mulch. And some succulent enthusiasts are against uh, mulch because they say that it might be, it might get too moist for the succulents, but it's not gonna be a problem here where I am. I am in Diamond Bar, California. And let's see. I found a couple of slanted pots. I love this. Um, so I made an arrangement here. Ruby necklace. See that Echeveria there? I am protecting it from the harsh sun. And let's see, the best time to plant from cuttings is when the climate is mild around 60s so that they don't get fried. So here's a blue glow and look how interesting this is. Um, it was buried under the fire sticks. So um, my helper pulled it out 
and it looks much nicer here. And here are more cuttings, the fire sticks, Echeveria. Look at this Agavoides that are um, curled up. They're protecting the, themselves. They are trying to hold on to the water. And I'm going to show you what they typically look like because those guys are so stressed. Here is a sunburst Ionium. So these are Agavoides that were not exposed to the sun. So they're opened up. And this here, Crassal, I found it. It hasn't been watered for a long time. Super dehydrated. And I made a little arrangement here. A little agave. And then I found his lizard, or I'm not sure what that is, but some kind of reptile. A nice grown agave that I kept here. And I'm gonna try to climb over. There's this agave that I found, super dehydrated. It looked like it hasn't been watered in a couple months. So I want that one to recover. Here's the other slanted pot. And of course, my agave medio. This one I actually brought. And I've got the spiller over in the end here because I want it to cascade over this area. Thanks for watching. I will see you on my next project.